May 2021 and today I'm bringing you along for a unique cool stay at Four Parks Shark Cabins. These are hotel rooms in shipping containers, shark themed. I've stayed here before, but I didn't vlog it last time, so I'm really excited to show you the room, the food, the experience, and of course we'll be visiting Thorpe Park as well for the opening of their brand new Black Mirror attraction. That's gonna be a separate video. But in today's video, I'm gonna bring you along as we check in to the Shark Hotel, or cabins actually. So I hope you've got your uh, inner tubes ready. First thing is we entered through a giant shark made up of patched together signs, old tin signs, attractions, and different shops. There's a whole Amity section inside of Thorpe Park. Here's a sign from that. So it's just like a really cool way to start your stay. Just a few bits of info before we get to the room. Since Sam and I are Merlin annual pass holders, we were able to book the cabins with our annual pass holder discount. If you're not a pass holder, it's a package deal that comes with Thorpe Park tickets. Prices vary by season, so I would check the website for that. Check-in was really easy, and since the cabins are actually inside the theme park, there's a special entrance and exit where you can come and go after the theme park is closed or before it opens. The cabins only come with a small amount of amenities, but you can ask for more at any time from reception that's open 24 seven. If you need extras like a hairdryer or anything like that, you can ask at reception. We are going in in like some stormy oh. conditions, aren't we? Here we are at the shark cabin. So last time we were over on this side, are we gonna be over there again? Yes. Awesome. Here we're on the second floor. Though. Look at, so these are big shipping containers. The rooms are really small. They're like capsule rooms. They're so cool. So, fun fact. Yes? They gave us part two, one ride fast pass for today. Oh, awesome. And I gotta go pick them up for tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, great. They look like boat cabins, right? All right, Sam's opening up our room. Welcome home. You've arrived. I love how it's like right when we walk in neon. I forgot how small it is. Yeah, I told you. <laughs> I forgot. You said it was big. I did say that, didn't I? All right, so I've got my Shark Hotel Saturday Thorpe Shark. I like that, that's cute. First thing to note, our room is on the lake. So we have a peaceful lake view. It's very quiet on this side. Now, Let's take you in. So now I've closed the room. This is the master bed. There's a television there. There's a mural there. An island like no other. That's Thorpe Park's sort of motto. There's another small bed here, and then there's another bed that you can pull down right up there. So technically you could fit four people in here. Two in the big bed, one here, and one there. There's a small sort of cabinet storage area, there's a rubbish bin, there's three drawers, a little cabinet, we've already put some of our stuff down, and it comes with a big, nice bottle of water, comes with a kettle, and we actually had to ask for a hairdryer, you can ask up at reception and they'll give that to you, and it's it's really cozy, like it just, it it's small but it feels good in here. Now I'm standing, well let me just show you, I'm standing in, the restroom. I'm gonna show it to you, but I actually had to stand in here to make enough space to show you the main room because it's so tiny in here. It's hard to like show you the space, but basically like if I step out of there and now I'm in the main room and you can see <laughs> the restroom behind me, but let me let me show it to you before we've like touched it or anything. You can see I'm bundled up in layers because it got cold. Yesterday we were at Chessington and it was warm and bright and blue, but today it is a cold. So let's turn this on and then let's show you. This is an interesting situation. So here's the toilet, uh, the flush, toilet paper, towels, big mirror lining the entire wall sink right there. Now you may be wondering where's the shower. It's right there. So it's like a nice waterfall shower situation with the mirror. You can see yourself while you're showering and then there's just a drain right in the floor and it's all one big connected room like the toilet, the towels, the sink, the shower. It's all one room. It's actually like, to me, this feels really spacious. Like I can stretch out 
it's so weird to be able to like have a mirror while you're showering but like I can completely stretch my arm out someone taller than me and like bigger than me probably maybe it would be a little bit tighter in here I can like there's plenty of space in here for me like I'm good and I think it's kind of cool to take a shower here and like just have this all one big room and then here's the door so see now back out into the main room it's cozy I don't know I like it cozy oh Sam's back welcome to your room oh. <laughs> uh, I think it's cozy I think it's cozy yeah I think this is all you need it's it's cute right and we're in the theme park we're in we're literally yeah. inside Thorpe Park yeah so I just went in there and it actually is big like look here squeeze me I think it no, is but pretty like big. It is big. I said it was big, and yeah. you said I wasn't remembering right. I was rem I was remembering the bathroom to be a smaller. It's really big, and like, come in here. I come can on. sit here. You can sit there. I could be taking a shower. Yeah, it's it's not bad at all, is and it? And like, I can like spread out, like. Yeah, and it's interesting. It just goes on the floor. It just goes right into the floor, and you would yeah. think everything gets wet, but like, yeah. I don't think it does. Like from what I remember. Well, we'll find out. We will find out. <sighs> <laughs> One more thing. When we first came in the room, the lights were off. And this was on. So there's like neon lights around the bed. And I think if I remember correctly, we could change them, right? We could control them. They change by themselves, but... They do. They go through like rotating colors, which I personally think is really cool. It's like mood lighting. For what? Just for mood. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just laying here on the... That air feels good. It does, there's actually air conditioning in here. Lest I forget to remember to say that there is air conditioning in these rooms, which is rare in the UK and it feels amazing. Even though it's cold and blustery outside, it can still get like warm when you're inside if there's no air conditioning, so... We actually chilled in the dome a little bit before, but we're going back there for dinner. So I'm going to bring you along to the dome, as they call it, which is like this big, beautiful dome where there's like dinner and shopping and it's like connected to the hotels and the theme park. And we'll be going there in a little bit. But first, we're going to freshen up a little bit. Oh, one more thing. I didn't show the check-in bag. Let's see what they gave us. At check-in, they gave us a body wash that says Geneva Guild body wash, uh, body care, conditioning shampoo, nice sized container of that, hand soap, and two fast passes that say swarm on them. So I guess we've got to use those now. Even though tomorrow's our Thorpe Park day, we have these fast passes for swarm today. So might as well get that in. We're going to head into the park for the last hour of the day to use our fast pass. And then we're going to head into the dome for dinner. So I'll bring you along for that just to see what it's like. Here's the middle bit. There's also a second floor up there. You enter and exit the Shark Hotel area through this big shark that I showed you earlier. We also have rain jackets because we may need them today. Oh, we have one fast pass for Swarm. I really, really like this ride. Hopefully it's running. A bunch aren't running because of the rain, but we just saw, oh, there, it's running. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is such a fun one. I love Swarm. I love the theming here, the like disaster zone theming. It goes with the weather. Yeah, I was just about to say with this like dark ominous weather, it even like, I don't know, it, it, it works. Like an alien attack, right? Yeah. It's called the Swarm. The Swarm. The photo op says missing persons. I like how it goes through that sign there. Just the like charred, broken town theming. All right, I guess we're popping on for a quick rainy ride on Swarm. Here we go on the Swarm. Oh my god, I'm excited. Yeah, 
coaster so much fun it was a total surprise to get a fast pass for this so we just popped on over to ride it really quickly we got a time for Darren Brown's ghost train so we better do it we better do it we will probably ride this again tomorrow but just in case we don't have time it's good to just kind of get it done see it says Thorpe Junction workshop this is a very interesting and different type of attraction and I did it last time and Got a little claustrophobic in it, a little bit scary too, but should be interesting to do it again after all this time and uh, just see what it's like. A little bit creepy music too. No drill, no spill. <laughs> We really intended today just to be checking into the Shark Hotel, checking out the hotel, hanging out in a dome. We didn't realize they'd give us the fast passes and we are Merlin pass holders so we can get into Thorpe Park today. So since they gave us the Swarm fast pass, we had to come and ride it. And then Darren Brown's ghost train right now during these times is running on a like a timed reservation system. They're free, but you have to get a reservation. So when we got here, they just gave us one for 30. So we had the fast pass. We had the Deer and Brown time, so we're doing a little mini Thorpe Park afternoon before a big Thorpe Park day tomorrow. And since the brand new Black Mirror attraction opens tomorrow, we'll be here for that opening day. We'll do that attraction. There's a little pass holder preview in the morning. We're gonna try to make that to do like a little special pass holder ride through. And then we'll have a full day at Thorpe Park again. So it's like a double the Thorpe double the fun. Hopefully not double the rain though. Hopefully tomorrow will be warmer, but either way we'll have fun. <laughs> 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 
It's a very interesting attraction. Of course, you exit through the gift shop like most attractions. It's a uh, it's just really strange. It's really different. Uh, there's a VR headset, which is very uncomfortable in my opinion. I don't love wearing a VR headset, especially with the mask. The last time I rode this, masks weren't a thing. Facial coverings weren't a thing. It was 2019. Now they are. So you're wearing a, a, a VR headset, a big giant VR headset, plus a face covering. Um, there's definitely a feeling of like claustrophobia in there things like touch you like it's fun it's cool it's different I think it's it's worth doing but I don't think I like it one thing I do like though is that when you're entering to go into the ride you see like actual subway cars like you see these giant red subway cars that you're getting into and you get in and you get in subway seats and that's when you put on the VR headset that are like attached to the car. It's just very disorienting and discombobulating intentionally. That's that's the intent of the attraction. But I do like the way the store is decorated. See, there's the train right there. So it's like floating in the air here. That's what it looks like. That's what the train you get inside of looks like. Inside the store, they've got merchandise from different rides like Swarm. Love the mind, the gap. And then there's also like Cool theming up there. There's Darren Brown. He's kind of the host of the ride. Oh, he's, he's looking around. Interesting, okay. There's uh, heads up there. Shirts for the ride. And shirts for different things. Ooh, Maestro. Welcome to the ghost train shop. Maestro fortune teller. Oh, it's Darren Brown. I think I saw this in the dome last time. I don't know if they moved him or if there are two of them. The park is now closed. We went back to the room to just chill for a little bit and now we're heading out for dinner. It's getting dark so the neon started to glow a little better. I like this. This wasn't here last time I was here. And now into the dome, the shopping and eating complex where we will be eating all of our meals during our stay here. We'll be eating at Infinity Bar and Kitchen. For a while there was only outdoor dining, but now there's also indoor dining. Here's the restaurant we'll be going in. We were in there a little bit earlier and it's so cozy. Okay, well, slight change of plans. Apparently you need to pre-book your dinner reservation in order to eat here, even though we walked into the Infinity restaurant earlier and did not need reservations. So it's a whole thing, uh, but we have family coming and they're bringing pizza and we were able to after a while get some help to get a reservation later to get into the restaurant for drinks after dinner so we're gonna have some pizza and then we're gonna have some drinks so we will get to go back in the dome but just a little later it's a little bit darker out not quite fully nighttime but we're walking back over to the dome now after eating some pizza and the lights come on it looks really pretty at night the park's closed so basically this is the only way to see the park at night right now staying at the shark cabins yeah it does look really pretty oh it's so windy now the neon lights are on and glowing and now we're going back to the dome into the dome for after pizza drinks so we're back in this cozy restaurant I like that they have these neon signs everywhere and I like this one life is a roller coaster so now we're gonna go in and have some after dinner drinks Cheers. 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 tonight's our second night staying in the shark cabins and once again we are headed into infinity bar and kitchen pretty much the main restaurant here in the dome for dinner. They've got the infinity symbol everywhere here. The life is a roller coaster sign, really pretty dining areas. You do need a booking to dine here and we've got one tonight. So time for dinner. Cheers. Sam got the burger. This is just like a regular burger, right? Yeah, bacon cheeseburger. Yeah, it looks not, pretty. Not sure what the sauce is. Yeah. I don't know about that. I got a pizza, but they said it would be a few more minutes, so I'm waiting for that. What'd you guys get over here? Did you get a veggie burger? I got a vegan burger, moving oh, cool. mountains. Okay, I'm gonna be curious to see what yeah. that tastes like, or yeah, here. A, a spicy chicken burger. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a little sad looking. Interesting. <laughs> One chicken bag. Yeah, okay, all right. My pizza's arrived. It's just, just a plain margarita pizza. 
Let's see. In general, all of our meals at Infinity were adequate. Everything was fine. The halloumi fries were probably the best item we had on the menu. Some of our servers were really, really excellent. There were a few hiccups here and there. We didn't realize on the first night that without a booking reservation, there is nowhere to eat and the entire park is closed. We sorted that out for the second night and thankfully we got some pizza. So just make sure that you have every single meal booked in advance if you want to dine at infinity during this time it did seem like they were a little understaffed at times we were very understanding about that of course and still had a lovely time just something to make note of if you want to eat when the park is closed infinity is pretty much your only option other than ordering out or bringing food in but there are no refrigerators in the cabin so again just to keep in mind after two nights of staying here just a few observations one my camera lens is fogged up and so is the entire room. <laughs> the shower is awesome, but it does fog up the whole room and it gets everything wet. Everything. It's so wet in here. The whole room gets wet when someone takes a shower. I also want to mention that there is air conditioning in the room and heating. It doesn't do a lot, but it does something. And I remember the first time we stayed when it was hot out, it really helped. But right now it's very, very cold out. So we still keep it on to help with the condensation, but it doesn't do a ton. I've laughed, I've cried, I've frozen. Well, I didn't really cry, but I've laughed. I've had a great time. I have been frozen cold, pelted with rain, ridden roller coasters, rode a brand new ride, and stayed at the shark cabins here at Thor Park, and I think that is gonna conclude our stay here. I stayed at the shark cabins back in 2019, the first time I visited Thor Park, and the way I remember them has changed a lot. Obviously the world has also changed a lot, so things have changed here, but I feel like I remember them being bigger than they are, and the whole point is that they're really, really small. But they're really, really small. I think it is a cool, unique experience, especially if you've never visited before, but I don't think it's really suitable for more than like a night or two, and if you can stay in that tiny thing with more than two people, I have got to give you huge props for being just an amazing person because I don't know how more than two people could stay in there. Even though there is technically space, it is small. But again, it's a fun experience. It's cool. It's like staying in a capsule hotel. It's something that like I'm not going to do very often and I am always going to remember. A memorable, cool, fun, unique experience. Being connected to the dome here is really cool. Getting into the theme park early getting the quick queue, fast pass. I, I keep forgetting the name of the system that they have here to get on rides is definitely a huge benefit. And it's just fun to be like inside the theme park. For example, right now, the park's been closed for two hours and we can go walk, like we can't go into the park, but we can go really close to the park and look at the rides and look at the park and get like really cool views after hours that you can't normally get. There's a lot of benefits to staying here. It's really cool. But right now, you do need to remember to pre-book your dinner, breakfast, any meals that you wanna have here at Infinity. You need to do a lot more planning than you would normally need to do and that you'll hopefully won't need to do in the future once the world is like more normal again. Sort all that out because we had a little bit of a debacle that first night. We had pre-booked breakfast, but no one told us we needed to pre-book dinner. And since we just walked in earlier in the day, we thought we could walk in for dinner and they were like, nope. And we were like, uh, what are we eating for dinner then? Like we had no dinner options. So we got pizza. It got sorted in the end, but like, it's just my advice to you is if you're staying here during this time, sort that out. Make sure you've got dinner reservations and you're good to go. Another piece of advice I would give is if you're staying in the shark cabins is pack lightly bring as little luggage as possible there are no shelves in the bathroom there is very very little storage space not a lot of space for stuff there are those cubbies under the bed but like for having stuff to work with not a lot of space so pack very light and just have a great time they're also like premier inns close by and i really like premier inns i feel like they're solid they're always a really good value you know what you're getting i have learned that when i'm here in england at least like if i look for a premier inn like i know i'm gonna get a solid good deal for my money and a good place to stay so if you want like a cool different themed theme park experience 
the shark cabins are great. If you want just like a good value, solid, comfortable place to stay nearby, Premier is probably the way to go. And that's probably what I would do next time, just to have like more space and more comfort. But I hope that you enjoyed the Thorpe Park Day video here on the opening day of Black Mirror. And I hope that you enjoyed this video of the hotel stay, which will also include some Thorpe Park footage because we were here the day before and did a little bit then. So it's all kind of like put together differently than I normally put videos together because this is a week long road trip here in the UK doing a bunch of different theme parks and attractions. So make sure you stay tuned for all of that, all the fun, cool things that I'm doing here. And then of course, when I go home to Orlando, Florida, I'll be covering all the amazing things going on there and all the updates and changes at Disney Universal and everything going on in Florida too. So stay tuned for all of that. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to join in all the future fun. Once again, I thank you all so much for joining me. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm sure there's more that I can say, but like I'm just, when you're in the middle of a road trip, it's like, it's a lot and I'm tired. So uh, yeah, let me know if you have any comments and I'm happy to answer them down below. You know, I love chatting with you guys. I appreciate you all so much for being supportive, awesome, watching these and just being part of the journeys with me. I love travel and it was always the intent of this channel to be a travel channel. So I'm glad that I can finally start to do that a little bit more again. So once again, thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you all so much love. I'll see you for the next video. And until then, as always, stay enthused. Bye.